Hey guys, it is Chris from How to Livable. Today we are going to show you how to set up Sales Navigator for LinkedIn. So let's get started. Uh, if you like or enjoy these videos, what have you, uh, please hit like or subscribe below. It really does help us make more of these. So let's jump into this. So I have just signed up for Sales Navigator, so we're going to kind of walk through this together. I honestly have not seen this before, uh, so it might be a little bit clunky, but I did want to take you all along for the ride as we set this up. Uh, I've been debating set it, setting up Sales Navigator for a while, and this is the maiden voyage, so let's check it out. All right, so we're going to save our leads and accounts to receive key insights. Your leads will not be notified. You can edit your saved leads and accounts at any time. So because we mainly do uh, video production, uh, typically the people that we are looking for are at the C-suite level of companies, higher level people. So let's just go ahead and um, let's pick a few people who they are recommending at this C-level. Uh, she looks good. Founder, sure. We don't really want marketing people right now. CTO. All right, so that's enough to just get started to see to see what kind of profiles it's going to recommend for us. So the next thing that I want to do is create a custom list. Okay, so this is going to be the slightly tricky part of Sales Navigator. When you're in Sales Navigator, you can set up what people see when you view their profile. So by default on LinkedIn, when you view someone's profile, they're notified that you viewed their profile. Uh, and within Sales Navigator, you can actually go in and change that setting so that when you view a profile, people either see that there's been a private profile uh, that has viewed their profile or completely anonymous. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do private mode for right now just because you're creating several different touch points when you are interacting with your leads and you may not want to uh, have them know that you are looking at their profile. You may just want them to see that you're commenting on their content and then messaging them. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to private mode. Okay, so we're jumping ahead a little bit here, but in the lists panel, what I did was I went ahead and created a new list called 2020 leads because that's when this is being made. And this is 46 of the leads that we had this year who expressed interest in doing a video with us but have not closed yet. And what I've done is added them into this list. And the advantage of having them in these lists in Sales Navigator is that a, you can mass message them if you want to and send them all the same message, or you can uh, pull up their accounts really quickly and see when the last time it was that they posted. And then you can engage with them and like their recent posts. So it just gives you one more touch point that you can interact with uh, all of your leads without doing a heavy sell um, but just to stay top of mind every so often, which I think is really a huge advantage. Um, the next thing that we're going to do in an upcoming video is go through and, and cultivate and build out um, that prospect list. So it's not really quite a lead yet, but you're looking for prospects who are going to fit your niche. Uh, we're going to build that on the next video. So this is the full setup of the LinkedIn Sales Navigator walkthrough. Uh, please like or subscribe and hit the notification button if you want to see more videos on LinkedIn. And uh, we will have some more for you in the coming weeks. Thanks.